Okay, everyone, this is what you do with these little sheets. They're called exchange sheets. They're kind of like the um, mega sheets, you know, uh, a big piece of paper uh, that says, you know, it has a person's name and address on it. And it tells you all these things that they want, like four bookmarks, five postcards, and you're supposed to cross it off. Now, those mega sheets, you do not have to send home until the very last one is crossed off. Then you want to send it back home to the person who it belongs to. These sheets here, these little slips that you get, some people don't know how to use them. I want to show you how to use them right. I was, Grandma will get that one. Uh, I was taught how to do this about 10 years ago, and I enjoyed it. And then I realized there were some mistakes I was making on my own, so I decided to change it. So it says here, send four church postcards to number one, and then it says copy 4X. X stands for time. As in four times. You want to make four of these times. Okay, so this goes to Kirk. He's number, or Kiki, I'm sorry, Kiki. She's number one. So you're going to send Kiki four church postcards. Usually church postcards are like postcards that have churches on it. Or the inside of a church. Um, so Kiki will get this original sheet. What you do is you cross out her name and you change that number two into a one. So you'll put a one over it. There's no room on here to put your information. So what happens is you're going to turn it around. Yes, there's some paper, uh, some words on this one. If you have a label, uh, you can put your label on it and then put a number two next to your name. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be doing this, so that's why I'm showing it to you guys, but that's how you do it. You put a label here of yours and put a number two next to it. So when Kiki gets this, this is the original. She gets this back, okay? Some people don't send the original, but for me to know, or should I say for her to know that it came from me, she gets her little sheet back. I do not count this as one of the sheets that she gets back as in if you're supposed to send like a hundred exchange slips and these are what you call exchange slips I don't count this as one of them because this is the original that Kiki gets back uh, so pretty much she'd have a hundred and one X slips okay so what Kiki will do is she's gonna take four church postcards herself and she's going to send it to Catherine. Okay, Catherine lives in Sweden. So, Kiki's going to cross off their name and put her label right next to the label that would be over here. Now, that label will change to number one, and her label will be changed to number two. Okay, so... Kiki's label will be right here. Now, like I said before, if by chance you don't have any labels of your own to put on the backs of these slips, or if there is room, you could put your name underneath the number two. But in this case, you can't do that. It's pretty much off. You can write your information, or if you have a little piece of paper, uh, glue it to the back of this so that there is no words. And then write your name down. Okay, so you keep using this until you run out. Now, like I said, with the 4X, which is copying it four times, what you're going to do is, if I'm going to send it to Kiki, I'm going to put send four church postcards to number one, copy four times. Four on four little pieces of paper. Okay. Now, you could, if you want to, you could count this as number one, because it's already been made. The only difference is, you're crossing off Kiki's name, because she gets the, she the slip back. And then you make three more. What you're going to do is, 
not put Kiki as number one anymore on your next three to four slips. You're going to be putting Catherine's name as number one on your next three to four slips. Okay? And then that way when uh, Kiki gets these, she's going to take her slip right here. And of like I said, she's going to cross off Catherine. When she crosses off Catherine, there's nobody in front. But she's going to make four copies. And those four copies will not have Kiki. It will not have Catherine on it. It will have whoever is right here. Okay? You take this person and you make them number one on the new sheet. And make yourself uh, number two, which will be next to the person in number one, on the next new sheet. And that's how you do it. You just keep doing it like that. Um, if you don't send the original back and you send it on to somebody else, that's fine. You just have to put inside the um, envelope flap uh, four church postcards. So when they open up their envelope, they'll see it says four church postcards. That you got their information from an X slip for postcards okay and that way they say oh yeah I did do that slip and if that way if it's not in the slip as not in the envelope they'll know what it was for or you can put it on the back of the envelope where it says for church postcards you always want them to know where you found their information because like me sometimes I don't understand now if you ever get a slip that has crossed off both of these and there's nothing on back you'll get confused because I have several times apparently when they do that it usually means they're sending you your slip back uh, you don't play it anymore okay uh, you're they're just showing you that everybody's been crossed off they've made extra ones but they never sent you another one so that you could replay it. That's why I send the original. So that you guys can replay it over and over again. So Kiki can be on this paper again. And be able to play for more church postcards. So if you really need me to do step by step. Because the, uh, the way I explained it didn't make sense to you. Just leave a comment and let me know. And I'll make sure I do it step by step next time. See you guys later.